referred to as energies of form, these are called the five organs, and there are no separate eyes, etc., apart from them. The seeds and consciousness of form constantly act as causes for each other, because the seeds and the perfuming consciousness alternate as causes. The seventh and eighth consciousnesses do not have this special support, because, perpetually evolving in a series, their own power is superior. The sixth, mental consciousness, has a special support, because it requires the support of mind, manas, in order to appear. There is an interpretation, by Stheramity, that says that the above explanation contradicts both scripture and reason. If the five material organs are seeds of the five forms of consciousness, there will be confusion and disorder among seeds of the eighteen sense fields. The eighteen sense fields are each said to have its own seeds, which is confirmed in many places in scripture. Also, the seeds of the first five consciousnesses have different powers to generate either the seen part or the seeing part. Which of them do you refer to as, visual organ, etc.? If you mean the seeds of the seeing part, it must be included in the aggregate of consciousness, Vij 7 Idna, Skanda. If you mean the seen part, it must be included in the external sense base, Jayatana. In either case, you contradict the holy teaching that the five material consciousnesses are the aggregate of form, Ripaskanda, categorized as an internal sense base. Moreover, if the five organs are seats of the corresponding five forms of consciousness, then the five organs must be the causal condition of the five consciousnesses, and we must not say that they are the dominant condition. Also, if the organs of nose and tongue are seats of the two corresponding consciousnesses, then smell and taste must exist only in the realm of desire, or the two consciousnesses will be found throughout the realm of form, and to ascend to either point contradicts holy teachings. Also, if the organs of sigh, ear, and body are seats of the three corresponding consciousnesses, the same difficulty arises with respect to the two stages, realm of desire and first diana, and five stages, realm of form and four dionas. Moreover, since the seats of the five consciousnesses are both good and bad, the five material organs must not be merely indeterminate. Again, the seats of the five consciousnesses will be categorized as unappropriated, and the five organs will also not be appropriated. Also, if the five material organs are seeds of the five consciousnesses, then the seed of the mental consciousness must be manas, because its relationship to mental consciousness is the same as that between the five organs and their forms of consciousness. Also, the Yagakarabhimi slash Sastra slash says that visual consciousness, etc., have a triple support. If the five material organs are seeds of their corresponding consciousnesses, visual consciousness, for example, will have two supports. Also, holy teachings say that the organs of the eye, etc., are both actual dermas and seeds. To restrict them to the meaning of just seeds is a contradiction with all the holy scriptures. We may ignore the above problems, raised by Steramity, and stick to the thesis that the organs are seeds. The five material organs are seeds of karma in the form of dominant conditions within consciousness as retribution that influence the corresponding five forms of consciousness, and thus they are not seeds as the causal condition that generates the five consciousnesses. This both conforms to the verses quoted above and is in harmony with the Yagakarabhimi, Sastra. Sthiramadi says that these are words without real significance for the following reasons. 1. The five material organs must not be indeterminate. 2. They must not be exclusively appropriated. 3. They must not be categorized solely as the aggregate of form. 4. They must not be exclusively internal sense bases. 5. Nose and tongue must be found only in the realm of desire. And the three other organs, ear and body, must not be found in the five stages. 6. The karma that influences mental consciousness must be the masvas. 7. I, etc would not be common to both actual dermas and seeds, 8, they must not be materia, organs, 9, if the five consciousnesses are influenced by karma, then they must be categorized as indeterminate, and, 10, since the five consciousnesses that are good, etc., are not influenced by karma, the I, etc., must not be their simultaneous support. 
Therefore the claim, that the organs are seeds, does not help very well. Also, says Theramity, many places in the holy teachings say that the alaya consciousness transforms to resemble the material organs, supporting bases for the organs, world receptacle, etc., so how can you deny material organs? To admit that visual consciousness, etc., transform to resemble form, etc., but not to admit that visual consciousness, etc., are transformations of the store consciousness, is to be profoundly deluded, about both store consciousness and seeds, and to contradict both teachings and reason. However, as for the statement, in the, 20 verses, and the Alambana Pariksa, that the energies or seeds are called, five organs, its purpose is to block, the notion that, there are real material organs apart from consciousness. The names, seeds, and energies of form, are metaphorically applied to apparent eyes, ears, etc., that are transformations of consciousness, because they function to generate the five forms of consciousness. It does not mean that material organs are karmic seeds of consciousness. Also, continues Theramity, the clearly discerning mental consciousness that has the five material realms as objects must have the five kinds of consciousness as its simultaneous support, because it must be simultaneous with the five forms of consciousness. If it does not have visual consciousness, etc., as a support, it will not be a support for them, because both have equal power, etc., to support each other. Also, even though the seventh consciousness is not interrupted, it changes easily on the path of insight and elsewhere, and thus like the have first, six consciousnesses it must have a simultaneous support. Otherwise it would not be included among the evolving consciousnesses, and this would contradict the holy teachings that there are seven evolving consciousnesses. Therefore you must admit that it has a simultaneous support, which is the actual, present, eighth consciousness. According to the Yogad Karabayami, Sastral, there is a store consciousness, therefore, there is a manas, and with manas as a support, mental consciousness evolves. What this means is that it is with the actual store consciousness as its support that the manas exists, not as a result of its seeds. Otherwise, you would have to say that because there is a store consciousness, the mental consciousness evolves. Consequently, that interpretation contradicts scripture and reason. Therefore, concludes Theramity, we must say that the first five forms of evolving consciousness must each have two simultaneous supports, the five material organs and, at the same time, mental consciousness. The sixth evolving consciousness always has one simultaneous support, the seventh consciousness. When it occurs simultaneously with the five forms of material consciousness, it also has them as a simultaneous support. The seventh evolving consciousness has only one simultaneous support, the eighth consciousness. Only the eighth consciousness is always unchanging, because it can stand alone and has no simultaneous support. There is another interpretation, by Sato Kandra, that finds the above interpretation still not totally reasonable. Since the eighth kind, of consciousness, and the others are all by nature consciousnesses, why not admit that, like them, it has a simultaneous support? And, since the seventh and eighth consciousnesses always evolve together, what is the error in admitting that they support each other? If you concede that the present consciousness is supported by seeds, you must admit that the seeds have the actual consciousness as support. The perfuming, consciousnesses, and, consciousness as, retribution are the support of birth, growth, and duration, because apart from them the seeds of consciousness cannot be born, grow, and endure. Also, Consciousness as retribution appropriates the body in the toll realms of form and evolves with the five material organs as its support. As a scripture says, the Alaya consciousness is disturbed by the winds of karma and perpetually evolves everywhere in a series supported by the organs, the Yagakarabhimi, Sastra, says, because the six consciousnesses, visual, etc., 